Hi, everybody. Dan Oman, Mike Beer, the DRF race of the day for Wednesday, July the 20th. Stakes action at Saratoga. Race number nine is for New York bred Phillies. It's the $125,000 Susie O'Kane. We're going a mile and a 16th on the inner turf. Let's take a look at this field. Scan the QR code to view free formulator pass performances and race of the day information. Um, the number one Solib's got a lot of speed in this race, Mike, and you could argue that she went very, very fast in the early stages last time. She might not have to go as quick to make the lead here. She might not have to, although, you know, some of these horses, um, you know, drawn to her outside, they're not, you know, true speeds necessarily like Solib might be. Um, but they're not slow early, Dan. And Salib, I do think, will make the lead from her inside draw here. This is just, it's just a way tougher spot for her stepping up in class off the claim. Timeform US agrees with you as we throw up the pace projector. They have Salib expected to make the lead from the inside post. The seven, eight, and nine in this race are entered main track only. As for Salib, she was claimed out of her most recent start, a $50,000 open race on June the 30th at Belmont. Let's watch that effort right now. And Salib again carved out legitimate fractions, 23, 46, and one. She battles gamely all the way down to the wire, but ultimately will drop a nose decision as the favorite. Right. And listen, as you already pointed out, the pace was solid here, Dan, um, but it wasn't, you know, too fast, I don't think. And, and at the end of the day, at least as far as I'm concerned, she has no excuse not to win this race. Um, she goes to a wrong lead here outside the 16th pole. She's still there, though. Um, it still looks like she's going to hold on and she just can't get the job done here. She's going to get nailed right on the wire. It's also worth pointing out there were a couple of trips behind her in that race. You know, I don't know. I get why they're taking a shot here. It's Joe Sharp off the claim. Um, he's pretty good off the claim, actually, and he's, he's off to a pretty good start at the meet. This is, a, to me, this is just way too tough a spot for her. Louis Sai is a very aggressive rider, takes the mount, expect to know Solib in the early stages. The two is Dufresne coming off a third place effort in her most recent start. Uh, Dufresne was, uh, ran pretty well that day on the pace. And Michael, I don't know if this is the kind of horse that can improve in this spot. I think she needs to slightly, but I do think she's capable of working out a trip off three straight sprints. I think that she can break and sort of tuck in behind Solib. I agree with that. I think she could fall into the right trip here. I don't necessarily mind them stretching her out for this race, Dan. I'm starting to wonder how good she is, though. Um, I have liked a couple of her races in the past. Um, so far, since she's come back this year as a three-year-old, I can't say that I'm you know, thrilled with any of her performances. She didn't. To me, she didn't run well last time. That was a super slow pace uh, going seven furlongs. She sat right up close to it. Wasn't close to good enough um, to winning that race. If you wanted anybody out of that race, you want She's a Mia. The uh, uh, Dufresne was stakes placed as a two-year-old. The question is whether she's as good this year. Her buyers are going the right way, but she's kind of running out of time to prove that she is as good as she was at two. Lisa's vision's the number three. She has taken money in both lifetime starts. She just missed in her career debut, and then she scored nice fashion going seven-eighths of a mile in her second lifetime start. Let's watch this race for trainer Jorge Abreu, and she had a really nice trip in here under Jose Ortiz, just got right up close to a very manageable pace and sprinted on home now she'll get an opportunity to stretch out around two turns yeah i mean i like this performance i thought she ran well in here she did get a really good trip in this race but uh man there was never a point in here where it didn't look like she was gonna win um and this was a horse who you know i thought her debut was you know sort of only okay after taking a lot of money and i you know wasn't necessarily sold on her dan going into that spot as the favorite but uh, man did she take a little bit of a step forward i thought she'd run really easily um, she is bred to stretch out, so I don't think the added distance is any problem for her, and she could get the she could get the right kind of trip in this race. Yeah, she does have the tactical speed to probably work out her own trip, and she retains an immense amount of upside potential for a very underrated trainer. The four is classic Lynn. She's had two good races. She's had two bad races. You're not supposed to worry about the bad races, though, because they both have come on dirt, and it just appears that right now she can't stand up on that surface. She can stand up on turf. Let's watch her race two starts back at a mile and a 16th over the Belmont inner turf course. She got right up close to the pace. She sprints on home. The buyer's light, and this is last year is a two-year-old so maybe it's not that light a 64 buyer speed figure joe sharp is excellent off layoffs yeah he is he already has a winner uh off the layoff on the turf at the saratoga meet uh through the first four days um you don't have to worry about her him bringing her back ready to go because he tends to do that i thought she was really impressive here dan you know the field may not be the greatest in the world i'm not sure how, how well this field are actually going to shake out when all is said and done um but this horse ran really, really well in there, I thought. And she also ran really well in her debut sprinting 
on turf at Saratoga, a race where she was right there with a big chance to win it when she got bumped about three or four different times and basically lost all chance. I think this Philly's pretty good. And she should be a decent price. I think some folks are going to be scared away by the fact that her buyers just look light on paper and the layoff does worry folks. Uh, but Joe Sharp, again, great off the bench. Like the way she sprinted on home that last three sixteenths of a mile in the video we showed. The five she's and me is your morning line favorite. Joel Rosario, Christophe Clement have already teamed up for a stake swim at Saratoga. Let's watch her most recent start. And it just seemed like the plan out of the gate here was to raid her. And I think maybe she was raided too much because it allowed making my move to get a clear and easy lead. She Shizumiya came to the outside. The trip worked out. She just, I thought, gave up too much of a tactical advantage to make in my move. She tries hard and runs second. Yeah, she runs well in here. You're, you're um, you know, putting it too mildly there. She got a terrible ride in this race. Um, I feel like if you're going to, if you just look at this race on paper, you might feel like, you know, she just didn't run that well because on, on paper, the fractions are 22, 44, 108. Um, and it sort of looks fast. They were walking on the lead in there. And um, this horse broke fine. She was forward early in that race. She actually could have made the lead if Pratt wanted it. And for whatever reason, he didn't want it. And making my move took it. And she had, as you saw in the replay there, the winner there had plenty left through the stretch. This horse just couldn't catch her. I thought she ran really well last time. Um, I think she's super dangerous in this race. She showed some ability last year. Stakes placed against open foes going a mile and a 16th. And maybe she'll be ready to fire her best shot now in her third start of 2022. Dream Central completes the field. Now, Dream Central is the kind of horse that likely needs a little bit of pace, even stretching out a bit in distance. She did earn a stakes victory last time out against fellow New York Reds at a huge price. Let's that watch that race from Dream Central. She didn't break very well, but she got a very fast pace and a very clever ride from Jose Lascano. Yeah, he's going to get to save all the ground here. She's down on the inside there. Um, it's going to be a little bit tight here as they come down to the wire with the favorite uh, Robin and Eli right to her outside here. But she's going to sort of force her way through here, Dan, and she's going to get the job done. This is a really game performance uh, for this Philly to get the job. And in her prior turf form, you know, it wasn't, you know, anything special, but it wasn't terrible either. She obviously improved in this race. I will just point out, even though uh, that was a, st uh, a, a stallion series race, a stakes race, it was really only a stakes race on paper. The one, two, three finishers in that race, they were all maidens on the way in. She'll be a price again, but likely not 39 to 1 as she was. That was a really nice ride from Lascano. And like you, I appreciated the guts she showed in the stretch to go through that tight seam in between horses. The 7, 8, and 9 are entered main track only. So before we get to our top picks, let me remind you to please subscribe to the Daily Racing Form YouTube channel for all the latest DRF TV video offerings. Time for our top picks for the Susie O'Kane. It's the feature race at Saratoga on Wednesday. Classic Lynn off the layoff with Joe Sharp. It has not been a problem thus far it hasn't i really liked her turf uh her two turf races last year dad in particular the maiden win um i think she has a good amount of talent uh sharp had this philly entered in a one x allowance race on sunday at saratoga he scratched her he wanted to run her in this race I'm really curious to see how good the three Lisa's vision is after only two lifetime starts because I have a feeling she has a ton of promise. But I thought that she's a Mia like you maybe was ridden a bit too conservatively last time out and might get a little bit of a better race flow for Clement. Mike's going four, five, three, six. I'll go she's a Mia. And then $125,000, Susie O'Kane, your DRF race of the day for Wednesday, July 20th. Good luck.